Alright, so making a custom overlay slash decal, whatever you want, is pretty easy to do. First thing you do is you get your icon made, which if you're making one like mine, then what you want to do is get a picture of a Glock 17 and a 1911. Make sure that they're transparent because it makes everything easier. Then you get your text, which is pretty easy to do. Then you take your two guns and apply an alien map on them. And then you drag these sliders as low as possible whenever you're doing an alien map, and then you get the paint bucket tool in. Make it whatever your color you want. For me, it's white. Then you drag them onto your text. So after that, you export the image as a TGA file, and then you open it in VTF Edit. If you don't have VTF Edit, it's a free program that you can get just by Googling it or using the link that I'll probably leave in the description. So you import it into VTF Edit, and if your image has any transparency in it, then it will turn green, which isn't an issue unless there's semi-transparency because it'll look like a green drop shadow. Now, because I'm going for a non-serious sign, it's not really an issue for me. Then I create a VMT file because I have a weird feeling that the auto VMT create doesn't work, and then I restart Hammer. After that, I search for the gun, and the texture that I made shows up. Unfortunately, I can't resize the overlay because I'm an idiot and forgot to turn on texture locking. What I ended up doing instead was creating a brush, had one of the faces that you could see be it the custom texture had the rest of them that you couldn't see be no draws because that's just good mapping practice and then i turned it into a funk illusionary which just makes it non-solid and that's basically it that is literally all you have to do like i'm sure there's a better way to do this but it works for me so i mean i don't really care anyways i'll see you all whenever i don't really know when i'm gonna get back into uploading regularly so uh yeah see you